in either of the circumstances whether it is an implication which is drawn from the provision contained under the Special Lake Area Development Authorized Act 1987 or been under the Urban Planning and Development Act 1973 on which the reliance has been placed by the Learned Council for the Defendant Appellant. According to the SOR of the Act, and the reasons for its enactment had altogether different object to be achieved so as to enable a planned development of an urbanized area, the Act nowhere grants the power to the authorities created under the Act to deal with a private dispute pertaining to a determination of a right or an act of encroachment made by the parties, Hence, even according to the statement, object and reasons of the act, the principles sought to be pressed by the appellant by arguing ground on substantial question of law in ground D will not be attracted, hence is not acceptable and is turned down. The argument of the learned counsel for the appellant with regards to the bar being created in institution of the suit for mandatory injunction in the light of development acts, as referred above and relied by him. From the viewpoint of the implications, and SOR contained under the Development Acts of 1987 is absolutely a misnomer. For the reason that as per the statement object and reasons of the Development Act, it only contemplates and intends to meet an objective of a planned development in an area. It does not contemplate or gives the power to the authorities who are quasi-judicial authorities under an act to resolve an inter se private dispute between the two private litigants and more particularly when it relates to an action of encroachment alleged against the other because the development authority itself cannot under the Development Act of 1987 or under the bylaws framed under the Act. Under has any authority to inject a private individual for an act of encroachment or pass a decree of permanent or mandatory injunction. The Urban and Planning Development Act has got altogether a different intention and object to be attained and it does not entitle the authorities to resolve an issue of title. It does not entitle the authorities thus created under a special act to scrutinize the evidence pertaining to the title and to hold a detailed trial for examining the rights and thus the bar of 41 within bracket H of the Specific Relief Act will not come into play in the light of the provisions contained under the UP. Urban Planning and Development Act 1973 this issue as argued can also be looked into from the another viewpoint that even if the Development Act of 1987 is taken in its entirely apart from the fact that it has got a different connotation to be made with it, it nowhere prohibits the institution of the suit which is contemplated under Section 9 of the Code of Civil Procedure in its specific term which is quoted herinder. 